Oh, goodness me. Okay, that looks like a mad scientist. Oh, those poor uh, guys. Mm. They look no really different, man. Oh, dear. But, yep. They're on a conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Happy Room. So this seems to be some kind of ragdoll destruction based game where you rack up points by blowing up different clones in as many ways as possible and inflicting as much pain as you can. So basically the core objective is to murder people in the most gruesome and horrific way. And this game sees it as a good thing. It shines light upon those who can master this whole concept and kill people inflicting awful, ridiculous amounts of pain. These are the games we play nowadays, guys, and you know what? I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Apologies as well, guys, for the huge freaking thing on my lip. I don't know what's going on with my body. I think it's just like shutting down, man. I think what I might do is censor my mouth. Like, just like this. Hey, this could work. Actually, that would take a long time to do. I'm just gonna pixelate my face cam. So I hope you guys don't mind it like this, because I sure as don't. I don't even have to get ready for this anymore. Anyway, we're gonna get playing this game all the same. So this is your first task. So place a mine. So place a mine right here. Yoink, there we go. Now start the test. Listen, number one. That's what I'm gonna call you. I'm sure you had a name, like Johnny, Johnny Nickel or something. Johnny, this, uh, this isn't the way it had to be, but unfortunately it's, um... Kind of what the game wants me to do, sir. So. Here we go, let's release him, man, literally. Oh my goodness me. I love how the rocking music comes in instantaneously. Johnny, I'm sorry, bro. It, the game asked me to do it. Check out the damage stats. And now we can see how much damage and pain we caused to this poor man. Hey, this is awesome. Do more damage to open new weapons. Complete achievements to get more money. So what, I have one euro? Can I, uh, can I cash out? <laughs> A fresh start clear screen. I think this right here. Here we go. And there we go. We've already done that objective right there. Explode three mines in a row. Let's place one under his foot right there. Another one there. And a third one there. Can we do them on the roof too? I'm sure we can in due time. Let's start the test anyway. So we want to explode these three mines in a row. There's the first one. That's the second one. And what? what? But that was too far. He actually blasted over to the wall. If I, if I was to put a mine right there. Wait, what? I think I messed up. How about I just put loads of these guys down? I have, like, loads of money in the bottom corner. Let's play this one and see what happens. So, bang. Why did he go that way this time? Is it randomized every time? So let me play this one again. I'm not sure if his body is in a slightly different posture. I don't think it is. I think every time, though, he's landing right here. All right, let's put two right there. That should hopefully seal us the deal. And... Wow. Oh, we did it. Nice one. Okay, so... Oh, my goodness. Um... Wow, that's a lot of blood. I'm sorry, dude. I can definitely see how this game then could be fairly addictive. We've done now the task. We clear all of the different stuff. We can start fresh again. We have spikes. They have to go on the ceiling only, I think, if you have the spikes. So I could put some spikes right there, and then I could simply pair this up with a happy face. Oh, they're jumpers? I need to take this one step at a time. So for now, one mine and then some spikes on the ceiling. So if you go straight up... Wow, that was... That was amazing. Let's try three loads of spikes on the ceiling, and then hopefully the bombs will blast them back up so we can fully use two of the spikes. Oh my goodness, there was the two spikes. Or do we have to work our way along the objectives? God damn it! How much damage are we actually inflicting from doing this alone? So, looking at the damage meter, the spikes don't do a whole lot of damage. I kind of just hold them in suspense. Oh, look at this. You can clear the different zones. So, clear the ceiling. This is a cool UI. I like how this one's working. We've got jumper pads right here. I think he's landing roughly over that side. I'm going to put two there. You know what? Let me put three. All right, let's see what happens. Let's play this one. So, there's the first one. The second one. Oh, come on. Keep going. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is what we wanted to see. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Come on. Keep going. Oh, I needed to push him. There we go. We should get the 500 damage, I'm hoping. All right, one more. Here we go. Yes. And we also hit the dummy with a jumper five times as well. So I think that's how we should end the test. Let's clear all the zones right now. We now have 1,189 to spend. So that is definitely increasing with each time we get these achievements. The next one says five crossbow shots while the dummy is on spikes. Because being impaled... Clearly isn't enough. I've just noticed along the top right here, I'm not sure if this little meter, this orange thing is an indication of when we unlock the various things. That looks like a crossbow to me, so maybe for now what we're going to do is just inflict a shed ton of pain. I'm down. All right, let's see what happens right now. I think what we got to do is inflict a certain amount of pain in order to unlock the certain things. You can see along the top, there's like a green bar that's moving. So this is where the challenge might come in. He needs to blast that way. Go on, that way. Don't keep doing that, that way. Oh, okay, that works. Yes, there we go. We got the crossbow, boys. Now we can kill him in more ways than one. <laughs> I'm normal. That's what the psychiatrist told me.
On opposite day. There is eight crossbows along the side right there. It said what we had to do for one of the objectives to make more money is pin him, or whilst he's pinned on the spikes, then let the crossbows wreak a load of havoc. All right, here we go. So, oh, it blasted him right over there. Oh my goodness. Those arrows are insane. Look at the stats going up. I don't I don't even need to do anything. Oh wait, they're retracting. Why did they retract? So the explosion didn't work. Let me try one in the dead center right there. Hopefully blast him right up into this thing. He's gonna fall. There we go. All right, there we go. That's the achievement we wanted. Now it's the damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got them in the center. This is what we wanted. This is what we wanted. Come on, a bit more guys. Come on, a tiny bit more. Don't do this. You were so close. We can eradicate the spikes at the top right now then. And what we could probably do is get some bounce pads. I think this might be a good idea. So let's try this now and just see what happens. There goes the first one. And if the arrows blast him sideways too. All right. Uh, this is kind of bad in a way. Because I think he's moving so much that the arrows are just missing. Come on! Ah, the bouncy pads were a bad idea in a way. Let's try more explosives along the bottom. They seem to do a load of damage. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Keep shooting. He's right there. He's right freaking there. Do that damage. Look at the damage. Are you kidding me? Ah! Do something this time. So they all missed. All right, here we go. And there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Blast him back that way. Oh my goodness. It's literally like... It's like a humane, an inhumane version of... Is it... What's that game where it's like Pong? I think it's Pong. Let's get this was Pong. Pong. Now he's back. New record. I think... Let's see the damage we inflicted. We got just over 1,000. Did we unlock the saw? That's all I care about right now. Can I kill him in more... Yes, I can. We'll put three. It looks like what will happen is it will actually carry this dude that way. Or it should be, I think, that way because the camera reverses things. I figured I'd have these guys slightly descend as time went on. So let's see if this is going to be enough. It's counting as him traveling. So keep at it, guys. Um... Oh my goodness. I'm going to put one just underneath right there. That might catapult him back up. It's not. It's just literally feeding him through. So this is, um, mm. I'm just making a small downward spiral right here. I just need to get him moving at least. He just kind of gets stuck. I'm not sure if they're too close. Maybe we need to go like, if that was there, let me try this one like here. Let's just see if it will actually move him this time. Okay. Now we're getting some movement right here. And then he gets kind of stuck right there. I don't think the meters are going to quite count. And unfortunately, oh man, this is getting closer. I think we're slowly getting there. Oh, come on. Get that leg unstuck. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Just die already. Get stuck. Okay. Keep this going for a bit. This should be enough. Come on. Let me just see the concept of like an endless. Gone already. There we go. Okay. And then will that push him back up? All right, I need to create like an endless cycle. I've done it. That's it. I create like an endless cycle and it works. Don't spare the bullets. 1,000 minimum damage. I don't think I have what it wants. Let me just see if like four crossbows along that side. Let's go for... I'll go for like two or three right here because they push them. This is working and then it will tell... Now he's stuck. Okay, at least this will shove him each way. I don't think it'll be enough. I don't think the swords are good for damage. I think the best one still is the explosives easily. I guess the spikes as well because it pins him in place so these guys can get like their shots in. Let's just go back to strat number one. So we've got a bounce pod that's going to shoot him that way. This one will shoot him that way. And then all the crossbows will intervene, hopefully. And it'll also get pinned at the top for a bit so the crossbows can do their damage. Most likely won't work. Let's find out. So pin. All right. Okay. That looked like it worked a little bit. The damage is pretty high to be... Oh my gosh. The force bar. Okay, this is working really well. There we go. We've got the teleporter as well. It's still going. It is still going. <laughs> now that was superb. 1,610 damage. Plus we actually got kind of close to the next weapon. So we've got the tele... Oh my goodness. This is crazy. There we go. So what will this do? Will this create like an endless loop? The faster we go, the more damage. It is causing damage, but barely anything. I mean, I guess we're going to get the teleportation thing anyway. So I could, in theory, sit here... Allow this to keep doing this, and I could get all of these different items unlocked. But I'm not going to do that, because that is friggin' cheap. If he starts drifting off, the saws I want to actually clip him, just like so, I could literally lock him in, in fact, until the saws then stop working. You know what? This this is good. This is really good. All right, let's see if this will actually work, then. Why is he screaming all of a sudden? Oh, my goodness. What even happened? Let me play this one again. What happened? So, okay. Okay, what we need is for him to literally get clipped lightly each time. I mean, it does add it up a little bit quicker. But still, the damage is taking a long, long time. All right, kind of works. Still needs some work, though. Uh, how could we do this? How could we kill this man better? I know. Four rows of spikes along the top. Loads of explosives along the bomb. Let's go for eight. Gun thingamajiggies on the side. Let's get a teleport here as well. I just realized you can, like, position those differently. You could fall into a, a bomb right here. And then hopefully, there'll be even more that I can catch. Let's just lay the floor with freaking bombs, dude. So, oh my goodness. What a slow way to see your own fate, dude. And then he's going to fall through there into the bombs. Okay, please come back. 
please. I need something. I need a miracle right here. It's holding him along the side. Okay, it needs to black. He needs to move that way. Dude, he got stuck. That's what we need them for, to get him out of the corners when he gets stuck there. Just like that. This is good so far. Oh my goodness. Wow. As long as he doesn't now get stuck in the middle, that will be really agitating. Okay, he's still moving. Now it's that what, a super? I don't even know what I did, but okay, I'll go with that. I need more damage though. Needs more damage. Come on. Yes. Got the shotgun, dude. All right, guys. This is going to be the last one then. This is trying out the shotguns on the sides. Let's see how powerful these things are. And oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh my goodness. That blew his helmet straight off. So uh, yeah, the helmet's useless now, I guess. Completely. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. They do damage. They do a load of damage, dude. He needs to... He didn't even get over the other side. Come on. This should be the one. Well, I get... Yes, I got the minigun as well, dude. I'm just gonna let him bounce around a little bit. This might be good. And it's finished. We got so close to the next one, though. But I am done right here now, guys. This is fun. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. This was Happy Room, I believe it's called. It's pretty damn crazy, and I like how the objectives do tear up. You can see how close now I'm getting to unlocking the other stuff. I think we may have unlocked something in between. We did. We got the minigun, so we can try that for the next episode, of course, if you guys do want to see that. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like, crane? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? Yeah. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.